Okay. All right. So we're still looking at quadratics this week. We're actually going to start uh, making more of a focus on solving them. Find my marker. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to say, what if we had a quadratic equation and we know the answer is already. So we see roots without getting too into detail. Roots is pretty much the same as solutions. Someone wants to argue that those two aren't exactly the same, call them a nerd, because for all intents and purposes, roots and solutions mean the same. Uh, so if we know the two answers, we want to know, can we get back to the quadratic equation that it can? And the answer is yes. So what we do, and hopefully you remember this from algebra, is a set of polynomials here, and we set it equal to zero, where P and Q are those two roots. So P and Q. Okay, so if you want to write this one down, X minus P times X minus Q equals zero. That's your, that's your basic setup if you wanted to factor out a uh, quadratic equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this, only I'm going to put in my roots. So I'm going to say X minus six times X. Now this is negative a minus or minus a negative. So this becomes plus one third. I'm not sure why they gave us a fraction for our example, but whatever equals zero. Okay, so we're going to use the FOIL method. Hopefully, you remember your good friend FOIL. Just a four-step thing of how to go from this back to an equation. So we start with the first term. So F stands for first. So it's going to be x times x, which equals x squared. Okay. The O in FOIL sounds or stands for outer or outermost. So the two outside terms, we multiply those together. So x times one third is one third x or x over three. Uh, then we have, no, I already used that one. Now he's on, so let's pick some different colors. Let's go purple. Then we have our inner term. That's our i. So negative 6 times x is just negative 6x. And then let's go Texas orange. Our last terms. Oops. I knew I would do that last. So that's negative six times one third. And one third of six is two, so it's going to be negative two. Okay. So now we have four separate answers, and we're just going to put them all into one, into one function, or one equation. So we're always going to have our first term by itself. These middle two, we're going to have to combine those together. So negative six plus one third would be, I don't know what color I want to be this, let's do purple. It's gonna be negative five and two thirds x. Don't worry, this is the only one with fractions. So if you're like, wait, I forgot how to subtract uh, whole numbers and fractions, don't worry that much, it's not a big deal. And then at the end, the one all by itself with no x at all. And here is, there's our equation. And all of that equals zero. So if we were to solve that, we graphed it out, we would have solutions that would cross the x-axis at six and negative one third. But really what we want today, is we don't even want the whole equation, we just want the polynomial. We just wanna know if I put my roots as polynomials, and I distribute them all out using FOIL, what will I end up with, okay? Uh, really, the only thing that might cause us some trouble here, assuming you remember how to do FOIL, is this, how it's minus P and minus Q. So be careful. So like when we do number one, we see our roots are one and 10. So when we write this out, you know, we're gonna have X and one, we're gonna have X and 10. Remember, it's always going to be minus. So if they're both positive, I'm going to put a minus sign next to both of them. 
But not like this one here, the roots are negative three and negative seven. We would say this is going to be plus three and x plus seven. So what you put in the parentheses is always going to be the opposite sign of the root itself. So just be very careful of that. Really, that's the only thing that's going to mess you up. Uh, other than that, then just go through the steps. First, outer, inner, last. Combine your outer and inner terms. They should both have an x at the end. Uh, put your first term to the left. Put your last term to the right. Easy stuff. Okay, if you got questions, let me know. Where's that dang button?